have a responsibility, I believe, to investigate uh, the, F the process by which the FBI uh, was stifled in its investigation by the White House. We, we will uh, make sure that Matt Whitaker immediately, one of the first orders of business will be to invite him, if necessary, to subpoena him to appear, be to appear before the committee. It's a direct result of the blue wave. You heard it there. That's a Democrat, Jerry Nadler, poised to take over the House Judiciary Committee and its impressive subpoena power. And he says he will grill acting Attorney General Matt Whitaker about his new role overseeing this Russia probe. It's part of a new reality confronting the Trump administration. Democrats winning these projected 35 House seats. As we've reported on this show from the start, that's their biggest midterm haul in four decades and planning investigations into Trump's handling of the Mueller probe and much more. The ouster of Jeff Sessions. Certainly. Uh, the North Korea summit. Certainly all issues involving North Korea. Commitments to Saudi Arabia. Uh, you could continue down the list. What are your top oversight priorities? Um, George, I, I really want to look at some things that uh, affect people on a day-to-day -day basis, such as, as I said, drug prices and health care issues. White House staff use of personal email. Oh, for sure. The president's business dealings abroad. Absolutely. And I want to see his tax return. And now NBC News tonight reporting a key witness in the Russia probe, a Roger Stone ally you may have heard of, his name's Jerome Corsi, is now saying that Mueller's team told him to get ready to be indicted for perjury. That's according to Mr. Corsi. I'm joined now, as promised, by California Congressman Eric Swalwell. He serves on the Judiciary Committee, where I just showed that sound from Jerry Nadler, as well as the Intelligence Committee. Congressman, uh, thanks for joining me. Starting on the intelligence side, sir, who do you see as people that are worthy of subpoenas? Would you, for example, want to subpoena the translator uh, for the Trump-Putin summit, about which there remains a big mystery? Uh, good evening, Ari, and happy Veterans Day uh, to all our vets. Uh, you know, Ari, we want to do things uh, that make a difference uh, in our democracy and people's lives as it relates uh, to Russia. Uh, certainly fill in uh, the gaps, uh, you know, bring in Michael Cohen, understand uh, the deal he was trying to do with Trump Tower in Moscow during uh, the primary election, know whether he told the president or not. Finally, understand whether Don Jr. told his dad about the Russian offer of support for Hillary Clinton. But to do this so we protect against uh, future interference by the Russians. And yes, Ari, know what the president said to Vladimir Putin uh, in that summit uh, when he met one on one and only a U.S. interpreter was there. Uh, and then uh, just uh, shortly thereafter praised him on a world stage and defied uh, the findings of our uh, intelligence uh, officials. So you do intend to subpoena that translator? Well, Mr. Schiff uh, and I uh, tried to subpoena the translator at our very last uh, House Intelligence uh, open hearing. So I, I expect that uh, that's still going to be on uh, the table. But Ari, I also want to make it clear, the American people, I think, put the Democrats in the majority because of health care. That was on the ballot. So we'll try and collaborate mm. where we can to restore protections with health care. Let's get that infrastructure plan done that the president wants to do. And let's make sure that uh, his wages stay flat, that we find a way to give tax cuts to people who work on every floor, not just the top floor. So we can collaborate if the president wants to come to the table and do deals. Yeah, I mean, that's something that's been a big matter of debate in Washington. How big was the blue wave? Bigger than I think some initially said. And what was it for? You're, you're saying you think the main reason uh, that you won such a historic uh, majority here is health care? It was, it was health care. The president gutted uh, protections for people with pre-existing conditions and took away the individual mandate. And most people are seeing their premiums go up. Health care was on the ballot. Uh, one other observation, though, Ari, we have elected now 25 and counting new members in the Democratic majority who are in their 40s or under. So uh, the country's looking forward. Mm. They're looking at people who bring new energy ideas and confidence. And, and I, I'm excited to serve, uh, you know, with those new members. Right. And before I let you go, take a listen to advice for you and your new uh, powerful chairman and women from none other than former Speaker Newt Gingrich. If all you do is end up in investigations, which unfortunately we did in 98, uh, it actually hurts you because the country wants to see things work. The country right. doesn't want to have the House Democrats spend all day every day in investigations and in open warfare against the president. Is he right or wrong? He's right. I agree with his words, not his deeds back in 98. Uh, but Ari, the days of presidential immunity 
are over. Looking the other way, giving the president a free pass, not standing up for our democracy, that is done. And, and the voters uh, voted to put a check on power on uh, you know, these abuses of power. So we're going to do our job there. Well, anyone who thinks you're uh, sometimes predictable got it wrong tonight, Congressman, because uh, I haven't heard you agree with Newt Gingrich all that often. Uh, but that's interesting context. We'll be watching. It's a new day. I hope you come back yeah. on the beat. <laughs> hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.